क्वेश्चन फाइंड करंट आई यूजिंग सुपरपोजिशन थ्योरम हेयर इन दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस करंट आई बाय यूजिंग सुपरपोजिशन थ्योरम सॉल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कंसीडर दिस 24 वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस सो स्टेप नंबर वन इज टू कंसीडर 24 वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस नाउ वेन वी कंसिडर दिस ट्वेंटी फोर वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस नाउ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस हेयर इज ओनली वन दैट इज दिस ट्वेल्व वोल्ट एंड वेन वी टर्न ऑफ दिस ट्वेल्व वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स दैट टाइम इट विल बी रिप्लेस बाय अ शॉर्ट सर्किट सो जस्ट रिप्लेस दिस ट्वेल्व वोल्ट बाय अ शॉर्ट सर्किट रिमेंबर दैट वेन वी टर्न ऑफ अ वोल्टेज सोर्स that time we have to replace it by short circuit and when we turn off independent current source that time we have to open circuit it we have to replace it by open circuit now here this is the current due to this 24 volt so let's say this is current i1 now let's find i1 so to find i1 we need total current so first we will find total current let's say this is current i24 let's say i24 now here we can see first we have to simplify this circuit to get the value of i24 here we can see this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are connected in parallel so 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm is equal to 6 into 6 Divided by six plus six. If we solve this, we get three ohm. So we can replace these two resistors by simply three ohm. So we'll just replace it by a single resistance of three ohm. Now we can easily find the value of I twenty four. Now according to Ohm's law, I twenty four is equal to V by R. So here the value of voltage is twenty four. Here we can write V by R first to understand it. This is the Ohm's law. Current is equal to voltage upon resistance. Now here the voltage is twenty four, and the resistance is six plus three. Six plus three, so it is equal to twenty-four divided by six plus three. It is eight by three. Eight by three ampere. We are using this fraction to get the precise value. Now next, we got the value of I twenty-four. Now we can use current division rule. to find the value of i1 by using current division rule i1 is equal to now the current division rule is we have to take this main current that is i24 multiplied with opposite branch resistance now here the opposite or parallel branch to this 6 ohm is this 6 ohm here we can see these two are connected in parallel and here this is connected in series not in parallel so remember that always take the parallel or opposite branch so here i24 into opposite branch resistance is 6 ohm divided by 6 ohm again Then plus self resistance is six ohm. So therefore, I one is equal to the value of I twenty four is I twenty four is eight by three. 
so 8 by 3 multiplied with 6 upon 6 plus 6 so therefore i1 is equal to 8 by 3 multiplied with 6 upon 6 plus 6 so it is 4 by 3 4 by 3 ampere now this is the current due to 24 voltage source now here we can see the direction of this i1 is downward so let's take the direction downward here then next we have to consider this 12 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources now this is step number one then step number two is consider 12 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources turn off all other sources now let's copy the circuit from here again now this time we will turn off this voltage source this 24 voltage source again when we turn off a voltage source that time we have to replace it by its short circuit now here this time this current is the current due to this 12 volt so let's say this is current i2 and this current is current i12 now we have to find this current i2 so before that we have to find this current i12 this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are connected in parallel so their equivalent resistance will be 3 ohm so simply copy this circuit now we can replace these two resistors these two resistor by a single resistor of 3 ohm so this will be of 3 ohm now we can easily find the value of this i12 so i12 is equal to v upon r so v is 12 and r is 6 plus 3 therefore i12 is equal to 12 upon 6 plus 3 so it is 4 by 3 4 upon 3 ampere but we have to find the value of i2 now here this i2 we can find by using current division rule by using current division rule i2 is equal to again we have to take parallel branch resistance first we have to multiply with i12 main current then multiply it with opposite branch resistance or parallel branch resistance now the parallel branch to this 6 ohm is this 6 ohm so 6 divided by 6 plus self resistance is 6 ohm so i12 is 4 by 3 multiplied with 6 upon 6 plus 6 now if we solve this we get 4 by 3 multiplied with 6 upon 6 plus 6 it is 2 by 3 2 by 3 ampere so this is the current due to 12 volt voltage source now again here we can see the direction of this i2 is downward 
Now let's compare both I1 and I2. This is current I1 and this is current I2. Since both current direction is same that is downward so resultant current will be added and its direction will be its direction will be downward like this so the resultant current that is current i is equal to i1 plus i2 we have to add both because the direction of both i1 and i2 is same that is downward that time we have to add it so it will be i1 plus i2 now i1 value is 4 by 3 plus i2 value is 2 by 3 so if we add these two then we get 4 by 3 plus 2 by 3 it is equal to 2 ampere and its direction will be downward. So therefore, I is equal to 2 ampere downward.